Welcome to D Beaver's YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll continue our series of educational videos for beginners in SQL scripting, talking about the update statement, which is used to modify existing records in a table. The data stored in database tables rarely stay the same. Time and time again, the old one needs to be replaced with the latest version or a new one. As a result, we need to update the database regularly. For example, if you need to change employees' data like their job title, telephone number, or email, you can use the update statement for this. The update statement is part of a data manipulation language. Using it, you can set the new values to a single row, several rows, or all rows based on the condition you specify. Start with the word update, then enter the table name. Write the set keyword. List the equalities separated by commas in the form column name equals value. Add the where keyword and specify the condition. You need to be careful when updating records in a table because the where clause specifies which record or records should be updated. If you omit the where clause, all records in the table will be updated. Let's look at how the update statement works with an example. By now, you should have already installed the dBeaver Community app and created an SQLite database. If you need to learn how to download and install the application, follow the link in the description or click on the tooltip on the right hand side of the screen. First, let's execute a simple SELECT query and look at the employee table. SELECT asterisk FROM EMPLOYEE Using the update statement, we will change Jane Peacock's title, turning them from Sales Support Agent to Senior Sales Support Agent. We can use her ID or her last name, since in this table it has a unique value too. Update EMPLOYEE Set title equals senior sales support agent, where employee ID equals three. After executing this query, you will see a tab with statistics showing the number of rows that have changed. In our case, this is one. Now let's rerun the previous select query and see how the data in the table has changed. Select asterisk from employee. As you can see, the data in the desired table cell has changed exactly as we wanted it to. Now let's imagine that our entire company has relocated from Canada to Sao Paulo in Brazil. Therefore, we need to change the country name for all employees. In this case, we can safely skip the WHERE clause and execute the following query. Update employees set country equals Brazil, comma state equals SP, comma city equals Sao Paulo, comma postal code equals four eight two nine three one zero. If you use dBeaver when you try to execute the update statement without the WHERE clause, you will see a warning about possible data loss. Since we did not indicate the condition on purpose, you can simply press the OK button. Let's look at our table again by executing the SELECT query. SELECT asterisk FROM EMPLOYEE As we wanted, the values in the columns country, state, city, and postal code have changed for all table rows. Now you know how to update data in your table rows. Our following video will teach you how to use other basic statements. If you want to be sure that you don't miss the next part of this series, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to receive notifications. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video.